Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to part two of my sweet picking for beginners series. This is the second video. Wait a minute. I think part two kind of gave that away. Yes, second video in sweet picking for beginners. Anyway, so we are going to expand on what we learned in part one of sweet picking for beginners. And I, I want to reiterate this is for you who are just starting out sweet picking or if you've been playing this technique for a while, you're kind of having a tough time with it. God knows I had quite a time when I started learning this technique. And as I admitted on part one, you know, this still comes up as kind of, I don't want to say a weak area, but it is still an area I struggle in. So don't worry, I'm right here with you. And let's learn this pattern. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's break down this exercise. You'll notice that those first few notes are the exact notes that we learned in part one of Sweet Picking for Beginners. Now what we're doing, we're going to expand on that and this is what we're going to play. So again, I want to go back to those extra few notes that we're throwing in. It's only one, two, three. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. All right, now you know the notes, you know the pattern. What I want us to do is kind of go through this. Just go through this pattern three times like this. So now I want us to take that pattern and expand on this just a little bit more. Now we're not going to be playing any different notes, but we're going to be playing more notes. So the pattern that we started with, you know, we started with what we learned in part one, that note on the G string. We played that all the way through, but we're going to continue that pattern in reverse and it's going to sound like this. Now I want you guys to remember sweet picking is a very fluid motion. We're not picking each individual note. Uh, uh, uh. Don't do that. I think that was from Jurassic Park. You guys remember that? Do this instead. All right guys, now for the bonus tip, and this is gonna help you really become a better guitar player overall, but especially better at sweep arpeggios. What we're gonna do is throw in a timer. I'm gonna play along with a click track at 120 BPM, and I want you to play along with me. Now feel free to adjust that to your comfort level. If you want to back it off to 100 or 80 or something like that, or if you want to bump it up a little bit, that's fine. But this is one of the most important factors of playing sweep arpeggio is keeping your timing. And this is where a lot of guitar players, myself included at times, struggle with just keeping that pattern in time. So we're gonna bump it up a little bit to 150 and I want you guys to play along with me here. All right guys, that wraps it up for part two of our Sweet Picking for Beginners video. Now, I want you guys to go back through this video and practice this pattern over and over and over again. And remember, you don't have to just play the pattern where I'm playing it on the fretboard. If you wanna move that up two frets or down two frets or wherever, you know, you can practice that pattern anywhere on the fretboard and that's just gonna help you get better at sweep picking. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this really helps you. And if you have questions on sweep picking 
or anything that I did in the video here, please leave those in the comments. And maybe you have some things that you've practiced, some techniques that have helped you get better at sweep picking. You know, please leave those in the comments as well, because that's going to help somebody else get better. And that's what we're here to do, become better metal guitar players. Guys, don't forget to check the description of the YouTube video here. I've got a link to my shop where you can buy my albums, music, and merchandise, all that good stuff. I appreciate your support. And guys, until the next video, keep it metal.